Welcome back. It's What's Up, Bob, along with my Insta361R. If you've ever wanted to load a previous version of firmware on, you've come to the right place. But first, um, the opinions and information in this video are strictly those of What's Up, Bob, and are to be viewed as entertainment purposes only and not to be used or considered as expert advice. Use of such information is at your own risk with no recourse. Now get to the chopper and enjoy the video. Now that that's taken care of, you may have loaded the latest, greatest version of the Insta361R version on here, like 2.0.8.1 or something like that, and you found that maybe your AirPods or your wireless mic uh, it's got some other feature, is not working the way that it was working before. So what am I going to do about that? What do you say, what's up, Bob? I'm saying you go ahead and put on the earlier version of firmware. In this case, I found that 1.3.8, or excuse me, yeah, 1.3.8.1 works pretty well right now. So there's not really any directions out there how to do it. There's probably a hundred ways to skin a cat. I'm going to show you what works for me. So let's go ahead and get the old version of firmware back on this camera. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is show you what version we currently have on this one. We'll go in, take a look, the camera info. You can see we're at 2.0.8.1. So we are going to put on an earlier version now. So let's power this back off. And again, these are the steps that I found that work for me. We're going to take the battery off. And we're hooking the computer directly up to it. My, my regular computer. So we're going to plug in and we're going to turn it back on. And when we do, you'll see it on the screen where you can access all the files. So to get to the firmware site, you're going to want to go and do a Google search. You're going to go to Insta360 1R firmware release notes. And then when you do the search, you're going to look for Insta, that one I'm circling right there, Insta 361R camera firmware release notes. Takes you to this page. Just do not download the firmware up there. You can see this is version 1.3.8 that we're going to be downloading. You actually want to click on the download down below here. Um, don't click on that upper one. It won't take you anywhere. So there it went and it saved it to our computer. So we're going to go into our downloads. There you can see the file. And the file needs to read exactly this way. Insta361RFW.BIN. If it's not like that, it won't work when you go to put it on um, your, your camera. So you can see there we're looking at the Untitled, which is actually our Insta361R camera. We're copying that file and we're going to go in and we're just putting it into the base directory on the Insta361R. It's going to copy it over. There it is. And then we'll come down and do an ejection right there. This is on a Mac. It'd be the same way, similar on a Windows. All right. So now it needs to go through an initialization and loading of the new software. Again, we do not want the battery on here. We're simply going to go ahead and unplug from our computer. And you can see it goes dead. And what we're going to do, keeping the battery off, is we have a regular power supply, USB power supply. We're going to plug 
it in and then go to the camera. And for whatever reason, I cannot get the older versions of firmware to load while it's plugged into the battery. So what we're going to do is plug in direct to the electric. See it came up, came on there. We're going to turn it on. And there you can see maybe it's checking for firmware. Again, we, this is plugged directly into the wall outlet now through an adapter, not off the battery, um, not off of the computer, has to be separate. So it's still checking and still checking and pretty soon you're going to see the light go off. The little blue light is flashing. Don't do anything right now. You've got to keep it plugged in this whole time. Do not unplug this. Again, this is a blue light. You just can't hardly see it. But right now what it's doing is it's loading the new firmware. on, Or the, excuse me, not the new firmware. The old version of firmware that we got off of their website. There you heard it go make its little noise. And now... Let's go in and take a look and see what version is there. Go down to our camera info. And now we have 1.3.8.1. So then you're good to go. Turn it back off. Unplug. Snap your battery on, head out to the road for a ride. All right, so what'd you think? Wasn't that hard, really. You just have to go through the steps to get that old version of firmware back on your Insta 361R. So if this has been any help to you, I'd appreciate leaving any comments down below. If you got any other questions, uh, Go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification bell, which I don't even know if it even works anymore or not. Uh, but do that. I appreciate it very much. And then, I guess that's all there is to say. I'm going to go out for a ride on the motorcycle and take my camera. Now that it works. In the meantime, so this has been What's a Bob saying. We'll be seeing you.